Today on Engineering Newswire, brought to you by Interpower, the premier supplier of power system components for worldwide markets, we're writing with fire, practicing with the web telescope, and writing emails with... So you remember David Neville, the guy that created the Oreo separator? If you don't, you should be watching more Engineering Newswire. Anyway, David Neville has now engineered what he calls the email guitar. Essentially, Neville has built a system that allows him to practice shredding while writing his emails. His project translates notes played on the guitar into computer keystrokes, so while writing emails to his bosses, he can practice his leads. He added an extra pickup to the guitar with an output that goes directly into a Roland synthesizer pedal. That pedal translates the pitches into a MIDI signal, which is sent out to a homemade opto-isolator circuit. The signal is then fed through an Arduino that Neville programmed to close a pair of relays for each signal received. Then, depending on which two relays get closed, a signal is processed in what he has dubbed the brains of an old USB keyboard. The brain is then connected directly to his computer via USB. Soon the office could be full of the sounds of shredding rather than the boring clicks of keyboards and mice. Ah, oh, Megan! ECAL student Lucian Langton has built a handheld printer, FireWriter, which burns pictures onto wood with a torch while an optical sensor keeps track of the image's positioning. Hacking into a standard inkjet printer and connecting it to an Adreno Uno, Langton attached a set of rollers and hand grips to the sides and then replaced the print head with a Dremel torch filled with butane propane mix that heats up to a scorching 1200 degrees Celsius. That's 2192 degrees Fahrenheit for all you number freaks out there. A black and white image has to be fed through a processing script so the resulting code can be sent to the Adreno board. The printer then begins to burn the image, line by line, as a series of dots. A person has to manually move the fire writer along a flat surface as it prints, but an optical sensor and calibration module ensures each burn is placed in the right spot. The fire writer can engrave images onto a variety of surfaces, including wood, paper, plastic, and fabric. And the duration, strength, and precision of the burn can be adjusted manually during printing to account for different materials or to change the printed image quality. Yeah! It's been almost 20 years since the Hubble Space Telescope was famously fixed by astronauts while still in orbit. The Hubble's next generation successor, the James Webb Space Telescope, won't be so lucky if there's a fatal flaw. That's because this new telescope will orbit Earth at a distance of nearly a million miles, around four times farther than the moon. To prevent the most expensive service call in history should something go wrong, NASA engineers have been practicing the installation of the critical mirror segments on this new telescope over and over again, so the final assembly will be perfect when the device ships, so to speak. The mirrors must stay perfectly aligned during a massive rocket launch and then operate at minus 390 degrees Fahrenheit without losing their shape. This is a science article and I've used two empirical measurements, but if anyone can do it, it's NASA. Distortions Unlimited has been in the fright business since 1978. The company started with horror-themed masks and props, but in 1995 they designed Shake and Bake, an animatronic electric chair that was unlike anything the industry had ever seen. It's okay, I just wet myself too. Shake and Bake was dark, loud, and smoky, a distant departure from contemporary animatronics that were silly and friendly. The poor soul strapped to the chair had a simple design with a motor connected to a few pulleys, which made it thrust the body back and forth. The initial design was so powerful, in fact, that the company replaced a hundred heads in the first year of production. Name one other industry where you'll hear that sentence and it won't be a red flag. 
The chair changed the scare industry from a charity-driven black plastic event into big business. And hey, they sold 200 of them for $3,800 a piece. A bit bigger boost than that Reagan mask after Swayze used it to rob a bank. Distortion's follow-up replaced the motor with two 3-inch stroke pneumatic cylinders with a quarter-inch bore from Bimba Manufacturing. They were connected to a pair of quarter-inch rods inside of a possessed teen that does everything but discharge pea soup. The air cylinders helped Distortion's cut costs and gain a little control over Kristen without losing the violent thrusting that made her predecessor such a success. Read Crazy Kristen's full story in pd and motion control supplement next week. Yep, there you go. Take that image to bed with you. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in an upcoming episode. For PD&D TV, I'm...